Well, that's been about uh, seven hours of straight plastering. A bit scarily dark blue, um, but based on what the samples did, I think, uh, I think it will dry nicely. Oh, wow. an incredibly special project coming up for you because we have a guest Michael who is one of our patrons who's come all the way from Germany and uh, he has promised to do some mural work in the coach house um, on the freshly plastered blue wall and all he had to go on was me sending some videos um, in advance just of the rough space and I can't wait to see what he can manage to do in the next few days. I already prepared some designs at home. I hope they would really work well in the coach house. Yeah. It's a quite simple design, a little bit stylized, but maybe you just look, this is a, a vine going yeah. along a, a horizontal pole yeah. and with the, the grapes here and the other one is uh, like more uh, a swirling uh, garland like going up and down that's amazing i love the colors and i love the idea of the vine one thought i have is that um these are very regular beautiful mm. designs and having seen some photos of your home i see um how you designed them and how beautiful it looks with nice regular walls mm. The only thing here is this is kind of a rough farmhouse feeling. Mm -hmm. I understand you. Um, and so perhaps something that's a bit more natural as a vine um, shape might be might work. And we've also remember we've got this huge expanse on the left and then two doors. And yeah. so it's, it, You're correct, it's possible yes. that we could do something that maybe even started from the ground if there's enough time to do it uh, and went out because we actually have a really big lovely vine that is shaped a bit like that i can show you if you like okay you have to bear in mind here that it's coming to the end of its life this year so it's not looking its best but what i love is the kind of gnarly base here and that it goes out and it reminds me of your your drawings but it's just slightly it's not either dead straight or looping yeah. i wonder if that, that might provide yeah, some inspiration that sounds, uh, yeah i see i see the picture i i could imagine that yes yeah well i'll leave it to you uh mm. but um that's just my kind of inspiration but i just really want you to be happy with what you do and feel inspired by it uh, I think I, I do some sketches and come back uh, with the design. Awesome, thank you. You've been busy. Yeah, I sketched the wine uh, you, you showed me and I think it really looks quite interesting. Oh, yeah. You, wow, you were really faithful to it. Yeah, I tried yeah. to. <laughs> and based on that, I made a, a first draft uh, where I incorporated the, uh, That's the wine. That's amazing. And uh, this is the, uh, my idea for the overdoor. Wow. Uh, the decoration it's based on the victorian uh, greenhouse you have yeah uh, but on second thought i think it looks like um, yeah a little bit too much uh, wrought iron decoration 19th a bit century formal, maybe. Yeah. yeah 
As I still had time the afternoon, I uh, looked through the house and found another decoration mm -hmm. on the bookcase and sketched it already. Oh, wow. And I think it looks much better in this space. Oh, gosh. That's much more um, fluid and natural, mm. isn't it? That's beautiful. Yeah. It's uh, a Louis Kass, uh, bookcase and it it might work really well there. It really reminds me of the place that the designs in Switzerland where we saw them on the outside mm. of the buildings, which is where we first got the idea mm. for doing over doors. And it's a way of making the doors and uh, very square doors yeah. look less kind of harsh and modern and square. And you put something over it and it just softens it. Mm. And that's perfect, I think. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful.
I'm just working on the shading of the leaves and on a second row of leaves under the first one to give it more volume. The first shade of a dark color was just to get the impression of the layout and then I painted uh, in lighter colors over it for the uh, front row of the leaves and the second uh, a row of leaves will stay uh, that dark because it gives uh, um, a 3D effect. Van Gogh picture, uh, he, he was in the floor see, seeing to the sky and uh, he paints uh, the tree, it's a very typical, mm -hmm. I don't remember the, the name. It's okay? Yeah. You know the one? You know the one uh, no, it's good, it's good. Yeah. We, we, we talk about Van Gogh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's good. You need That's to paint good. us right That's now. <laughs> I like it so much. Yeah. I've decided to add uh, more detail and I picked a leaf from a vine that is growing in the uh, Basque uh, to get the details right and I added some uh, edders here and I try to get the, the shape or the outline of the leaf correctly. just working uh, on the decorations over the doors and the design is based on a decoration that I found in one of the cupboards in the house and Amy uh, told me she wanted to have a rustic design uh, uh, like she saw in the uh, Swiss region of Evolen and uh, therefore I made this more coarse reproduction of that uh, more elaborate design in the cupboard.
Michael finished just in time for the Patreon weekend, and some of our earliest guests arrived just in time for the reveal. Oh, wow! That's beautiful! Look at it. looks amazing. Wow! Yeah. Look at it, look! That's beautiful! I love what you've done above the door! Now it's complete. <laughs> I made that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 